why would we think that the African-American community would be concerned about the gay community or the LGBT community perhaps co-opting or co-modifying or leapfrogging over the African-American community and trying to get their rights? We don't think that race has necessarily been tackled and if they go on to focus on the LGBTQ community, then they're gonna pay all of their attention on that. Absolutely. There's this idea that America can't pay attention to more than one social movement at a time. The Oppression Olympics is a cognitive filter that many of us carry around in our heads unknowingly. And so I use the term Oppression Olympics as an evocative way to kind of explain how groups in politics, particularly racial and ethnic groups or gender groups, really think that they have to pit themselves against each other in order to actually succeed in politics. Leapfrog paranoia makes it really easy to focus on each other as the problem, right? So the problem is this other group, the problem is this other person, rather than focusing on how we transform the system. We use intersectionality as an antidote to the Oppression Olympics because it really refocuses how we talk about ourselves, how we talk about group interactions, and how we talk about the way in which political institutions function in American society. So it's the intersections that allow us to actually see the areas of gray. And so when we talk about intersectionality, we're actually trying to build political efficacy through the strategic use of solidarity, through the strategic use of coalition politics, through the strategic setting aside of zero-sum thinking.